Hi, I'm Julian and I'm that craft guy. Fish go up and down in the water using something called a swim bladder. The fish contract and expand the swim bladder to move up and down in the water. If we can remake something like a bladder, we can create a play fish that goes up and down in the water just like a real one. Let's make our own aquarium. For this project, you will need a clear 2 liter plastic bottle filled with water, a glass of water, an eyedropper or a straw, a knife, a pair of scissors, a black permanent marker, plaster seam, craft foam, or a zip tie if you're using the eyedropper, and a towel in case there's a mess. Let's get started. Step 1. Draw your fish on your craft phone and cut it out. Don't make it too big, because remember, it has to fit into the top of your bottle. Step 2. If you're using a straw, cut it down to 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters. Bend it in half and then mold the plaster scene onto the open ends. Then push the foam fish into the slot created by the bent straws. If you're using an eyedropper, mold a piece of plaster scene onto the open end. Then use the zip tie's pointy end to make some slits in your foam fish. Slide the zip tie through the slits and attach it to your eyedropper. Cut the extra away. Oh yeah, it's important that you use plaster scene or modeling clay because Play-Doh and regular clay may dissolve in the water. Step three. Drop the fish into your glass of water to test its buoyancy. The top of the straw or dropper should be just floating level with the top of the water. If it pops up and floats on its side or sinks to the bottom, you might need to add or subtract plaster seam to make it sit just right. Gravity is the downward force on everything, and buoyancy is the upward force on everything in the water. If the weight of your object is greater or less than one of these forces, it will either sink or float. Step 4. Once your fish is floating properly, drop it into your bottle. Then seal it tight with the cap. Make sure your bottle is almost full. Squeeze your bottle and watch your fish swim to the bottom. Then let go and watch your fish swim back to the top. Let's add a little wow to this project. Cut green construction paper into seaweed and tape it to the bottom of your bottle. This will make it look even more like a real aquarium. Lay down string, tinsel, or pipe cleaners with plaster seam and drop it into your bottle to make a nice patch of seaweed for your fish to enjoy. Add a drop of blue food coloring to give your aquarium a deep sea feel. Try dropping in an antacid tablet to add some bubbles to your aquarium. Check out how you can turn your aquarium into a game you can play with a friend, or even a science project on the printable instructions at thatcraftthat.com. 
For more videos, go to thatcraftguy.com or on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash thatcraftguy1. If you have any questions, send us an email at questions at thatcraftguy.com or want to send us a picture of your finished product, send it to gallery at thatcraftguy.com. Thanks for watching.